Well, turning back to the kitchen, your holiday parties might be coming up, and if you need the perfect Christmas cocktail or Christmas drink to bring, well, that is where Mike Samuelson comes in with Heidi Wine and Spirits just down the road over here in Silvis. Thank you so much for stopping by today. Thank you very much for having me. And what a spread you mm -hmm. have brought us today. Absolutely. Talk about all of this. Um, yes, I've got just uh, some wines and some uh, liqueurs I think are great for this time of the year. Um, I've got the Wagner family um, wines right here, and I think they're some of the best wines on our shelves. Um, the Chardonnay is great. The, um, they have the Camus, which is one of the best Cabernets you can find for your money. And then, of course, you got a lot of winter warmers here on um, the other side over here. You've got cream liqueurs. You've got some espresso martinis. Great for this time of the year. Okay, the espresso martinis really caught my eye because that one's, these are ready to drink, is that what it is? Absolutely, it's the new Kettle One espresso martini and um, it is ready to drink. You just pour it, pour it over ice or you can, I would even say blend it, but I don't know if some people would blend it, but I'd say you could even blend it. Wow. If you like coffee, this is absolutely <laughs> phenomenal. So Mike was setting up before the show started and I walk up and the first thing he says is, do you like coffee? So, does that mean we're going to try some? Absolutely. Oh, go, yeah. go ahead and uh, smell it first and okay. tell me what you think. Okay. Oh my gosh. Absolutely. It smells like a coffee bean. It doesn't smell like any alcohol. Exactly. And it's made with <laughs> vodka, <laughs> which like makes exactly. it even better because you don't even know you're drinking vodka. So. True. Is that typically what, yeah, an espresso martini would be made of? Yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm learning. Okay, do you want to pour it? Absolutely. I'll I gotcha. let the expert try this. <laughs> Wow. So you guys not only have a whole bunch of different holiday themed drinks, you also have a list on your website of different kind of holiday cocktails you can make. You guys have a bunch of wines, but on top of all of that, you have a whole bunch of deals going on right now. Absolutely. We have all kinds of deals, a lot of instant coupons, a lot of, um, we have uh, ads going on right now. Our, uh, I know a Crown Royal is like really cheap at the moment. Like for instance, this conundrum right here, um, like at my store, currently we have it for $19.99, which is a great everyday deal. Uh, but if you buy two bottles, you get $5 off. In oh, wow. The, so you get it for $17.49. I wear at the Silvis hy -Vee. Um Of course, with the state lines, you get different pricing um, based on like taxation and stuff like that. But um, you're just saving more money. And these are supplier like funded programs. So mm -hmm. these help us, this helps the consumer. Super easy. It gets rid of like IRCs or mail in rebates and so much more convenient. I love the knowledge that you bring. He's not just bringing lots of yummy alcohol into the studio. Lots of knowledge as well. And what do you find people buy certain things more than others around this time of year? Oh, absolutely. Like you, you sell a lot of things you usually don't sell um, during this time of the year. And okay. um, people are willing to like venture out a little bit more. And um, we get more questions during this time of the year than any other time of the year, which is great. I love answering the questions. I love like blowing people's minds and some of the things <laughs> that we got. So um, for instance, like this uh, espresso martini. So I, if you wouldn't mind, want to um, yeah. give it a shot. Yes, let's go for it. And then while you pour it, could you also talk to us about some of these, uh, what was this one called? The, uh, the Dirty, uh, the I'm, dirty I'm Monkey. The Dirty Monkey. Uh, the Dirty Monkey. It just hit our shelves just recently through break, uh, Breakthrough Beverages, and it is absolutely phenomenal. Like if it doesn't, it has a banana flavor and that's the dominant flavor, mm -hmm. but it's not a artificial banana flavor. Mm -hmm. um, that's what I loved about it. It actually tastes like bananas. So you can experiment with this. I really, really want to try um, like a, um, like a drink that has a little bit of like strawberry chocolate mm, make it taste like yeah, a um, yeah. chocolate or a banana split and that. by itself though um, it does have peanut butter in it so you get a little bit of a peanut butter flavor at the end of the taste but the ban banana is the star of that drink of that um, liquor well let's cheers to that absolutely are you gonna try some um sorry i can't <laughs> right now uh, it'll be up to me then. Well, then why don't I try the mixed one? Yes. Okay, um, what does this have in it? This has the Bailey's uh, chocolate and uh, the espresso martini. If you do not like like a lot of um, like Man. espresso in your drinks and you want to just tame it down a little bit, add the Bailey's chocolate to it and then you kind of have a mocha thing kind of go on. No, I was just going to say mocha, like I'm getting like mm -hmm. a Starbucks frappuccino. Almost. Yeah, absolutely. And I can just smell it right here. All I smell oh, right now is... Oh, it smells amazing. Yes, absolutely. Well, Mike, we got to get going, but I wanted to give you really quickly talk about these wines right over here. Absolutely. Um, well, the two I want to talk about real quick is the Mercelet. These are some fantastic wines and I wanted to pour out because I want to, one is oaked and one is non-oaked and wow. you can just, you can just tell by the colors wow. right there. 
that you can tell by the just by the colors, which is like the gold from the um, oaked. This is oaked Chardonnay, and this is unoaked. Mm. When people think um, Chardonnay, they mostly think of Kendall Jackson, and most Chardonnays are aged in oak. There are options for people who like more Savion Blancs and Pinot Grigios for the unoaked. And me personally, I don't like to oak Chardonnay. So I'll go towards the um, un oak Chardonnay and it's just bright, citrusy and fantastic. But no matter what your preference is, you're going to find it at Hy-Vee this holiday season. Mike, yeah. thank you so much for stopping by today. Thank you.